Oh, that dude just barely dodged it. One on me. Down one. Oh, he's right here. Got him. I got him. All right, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing something a little different. This is an experimental video. I want to get down to the bottom of what is better, the Growl or the M13. Time to kill, as well as how well your weapon laser beams in Warzone is what is most important to the average everyday player. So that is what we're going to be finding out today. So first, we are going to be covering the best class setups for each, the Growl and the M13. Then we're going to transition into the time to kill data. Some important information that you should know so that you know how to use the weapon at certain ranges and which weapon actually kills faster as well as which weapon actually has the best laser beam capabilities i'm gonna ask for a like goal of 500 likes if we hit this like goal then that shows me that this is the content that you want to continue to see and maybe we can make it into a series if you're new around here make sure to hit that subscribe button join turbo nation today make it official so you never miss another new video all right so let's just get into the class setup so for the m13 for the muzzle i'm running the monolithic suppressor the tempest marksman barrel the vlk 3.0 optic as well as the Merc foregrip for the under barrel and the 60 round magazines for the M13. All right, moving on to the growl. I'm using the monolithic suppressor, the Tempest 26.4 inch Archangel barrel, as well as the TAC laser and the commando foregrip for the under barrel, as well as the 60 round magazines for the ammunition. Now the TAC laser is optional. You can remove this and put on a sight if you want to. You can put on the VLK. VLK is probably one of the best sights in this game because you get that really clear vision on your target from long distance while still maintaining that great accuracy from close range. So this is going to be the most important part of the video where I'm going to be covering the different time to kills at different ranges because most people only care to know which weapon actually kills faster at certain ranges. So we're going to be comparing the Growl 556 versus the M13. So for the first test, we are going to be taking a look at the base weapons, which means no attachments at all. And this is going to be based off of opponents with full health with three armor plates on. For the first thing that you want to take notice is that the ranges of up to 34 meters on the Growl 556 the time to kill to the chest is 658 milliseconds and the time to kill to the head is 411 milliseconds now if we compare that to the m13 the m13 is a little bit slower but not by much at 667 milliseconds at that same exact range and here is where it gets a little interesting if you take a look here it's at 400 milliseconds which is slightly faster than the growl at 411 milliseconds so with this information you have to remember that if you're using the m13 if you really want to melt your opponents you must aim for the head with in that 34 meter range all right so this is where it also starts to get interesting so on the base growl that 35 to 62 meter range you get a time to kill of 822 milliseconds to the chest and 575 milliseconds to the head now if you take a look at the m13 as you can see here there is no drop off at which that time to kill changes at various ranges now if you take a look here from 63 meters up to 100 meters that time to kill actually increases quite a bit to 1.068 seconds for the chest and 0 0.740 milliseconds to the head. So if you're comparing this to the M13, you can already tell that the M13 is superior from long range, especially that the recoil is a lot easier to control on the M13, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So of course, all these numbers are based on the base weapons. There's no attachments to it. So let's take a look at what the Growl 556 would look like if we were to optimize it with the best barrel that will actually extend the damage range and we should see a change to these numbers now here is what happens when you add that archangel barrel which is actually going to give you the most amount of damage range possible at around 45 percent so as you can see here based on the numbers that you do get a significant increase in your damage range versus the base weapon it was previously around 822 milliseconds at that same exact range now at 100 meters and beyond it goes back to that 1.068 second time to kill as well as that 740 millisecond time to kill 
nail to the head. Now, excuse me for the MS. That was a typo. I meant to put seconds here, so don't mind that. So either way, adding that Archangel Barrel on the Growl shows that it is clearly effective in increasing that damage range and therefore giving you better time to kills at longer ranges. Now, here we have the M13. We're going to be taking a look at the M13 base versus the M13 and the preferred attachment, which is going to be the Tempest Marksman Barrel. And it's also going to give you around the same amount of damage range increase of 45%. So that 34 meters is extended all the way up to 49 meters. And you're going to get that 667 millisecond time to kill to the chest, as well as that 400 millisecond time to kill to the head. So this is actually really huge, especially if you put on a really nice sight on the M13. You can definitely melt enemies from long distance if you aim for their head. So as you can see here for the rest of the stat, it's pretty simple. From 50 to 100 meters, that is when you get that 867 millisecond time to kill, as well as that 533 millisecond time to kill to the head, which is actually still pretty good. So that's why you should always try to aim for the head no matter what range you're at so that you can keep melting your enemies a lot faster. So this is going to be the final comparison of the Archangel barrel on the Grau 556 versus the Marksman barrel on the M13. So as you can see right off the bat, those damage range increase from the barrels do drop off at the same amount of meters. But the Grau 556 is still superior, that is, if you're shooting to the chest, versus the M13. Now, of course, the M13 still holds true at a better time to kill at 400 milliseconds up to that same exact range versus the Grau at 411 milliseconds. You know, it's not that much, but it could mean the difference between life and death. So that's why with the M13, I stress again that you must go for those headshots if you're within this range. Now, if you take a look over here from that 50 to 90 meter range the growl is still superior at 822 milliseconds if you're shooting to the chest now if you take a look at the m13 it's still at 867 milliseconds however there is no drop off in range it's still consistent all throughout until 100 meters versus the growl where it's at 1.068 seconds so there is a considerable drop off at the time that kills at this range so at this range obviously the m13 is going to be superior now i know i mentioned earlier that you must go for those headshots as you can see those numbers are absolutely amazing versus the growl and you will argue that even if you do use the m13 from this range and you try to go for those headshots it's just not practical to get those headshots so that's why we're going to go ahead and compare the recoil patterns and see which gun actually is more of a laser beam all right so for the first test i'm just going to let the weapon do its thing and i'm not going to try to control that recoil at all all right, so taking a look at the bullet spread here, it does appear that the first five or six bullets do have a bit of space in between them. It starts off here and then it goes up and then it veers off straight into the right. And as you can see, the bullet spread is much tighter over here. And this is the result that we get for the base M13. All right, so now for the next test, I am going to be trying to control that recoil and see how the bullet spread looks. So not too bad in my opinion as far as the base M13 goes, but now let's go ahead and take a look at what the recoil pattern will look like with my recommended class setup. All right, so now that I've got my recommended class setup, I'm using the VLK Optic, just a personal preference, the Tempest Marksman Barrel, the Monolithic Suppressor, the 60 Round Magazine, as well as the Merc Foregrip. All right, so same thing, we are gonna go ahead and just let the weapon do its thing, and I'm not gonna control that recoil. Huge difference, I can already tell right here. As you can see, it's much tighter and it still follows that same bullet pattern as well, which is expected because I wasn't controlling that recoil. But the biggest difference here is that that bullet spread is a lot tighter and more precise. Now imagine if we tried to control that recoil. So you can already tell from this that these attachments do make the M13 a laser. I mean, look how small the diameter of this bullet spread is versus the one over here with no attachments. See, the one, even the one with no attachments, it's still a pretty good bullet pattern, don't get me wrong. But I mean, when you look at this, this is a huge difference. Imagine lasering somebody with this type of accuracy. All right, so I've got my growl, same thing. I'm not going to control that recoil, no attachments. Here we go. 
you can see that the growl has a lot more vertical recoil as it travels up that wall the first few shots of the growl are obviously spread apart here so that bullet spread is not very good to start with and then it continues to climb upward and upward and that bullet spread seems to tighten as it moves upward against that wall all right now for the second part of the test we are going to try to control that recoil and i'm going to be placing it right here So the base growl actually does have a pretty nice bullet spread if you try to control that recoil so not too bad all right so i'm going to be trying to aim right there and i'm going to try to control that recoil all right so i think it's pretty clear who is the real winner here when it comes to controlling that recoil and that laser beam accuracy now as you can see how this bullet pattern travels all the way up there and we're still rocking that same amount of magazines which is 60 same thing with the m13 and if you look over here it stops over here so you don't really need to control that vertical recoil as much when you're using the m13 because it doesn't travel up that much now if we take a look at the controlled recoil here that diameter of the bullet spread is a lot bigger versus the m13 over here which is clearly much smaller and why the m13 is better at handling that recoil that about wraps it up for this video so let me know down below in the comments who are you going to be going with are you going to be going with the growl or the m13 if you ask me personally i'm going to roll with the m13 because that time to kill from 100 meters and beyond could mean the difference between life and death in war zone especially if you're engaging in really long range combat and you're most likely never going to miss a shot with the m13 as well whereas the growl yes it's really good that time to kill is a lot better than the m13 however at a certain range it does drop off but you also have to consider the reason why it's so popular is because a lot of pro players use it a lot of your favorite youtubers use it and these guys they play every single day so they know how to control that recoil on the growl so unless you know how to control that recoil on the growl then i would say definitely go with the growl but if you're more of a casual player and you're not really that great with accuracy then the m13 is going to be the one for you so yeah guys let me know down below in the comments what you think of this video if you want me to make more videos like this and which weapons do you want me to compare next don't forget to drop a like on this video it would really mean a lot to me and it would show me that you support this series make sure to subscribe if you're new around here join turbo nation today we literally hit 100k subscribers so quickly I would really appreciate it if you guys could join the Turbo Nation. All right, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.